as in most of these cases, the, the guys behind uh, the Mariposa the botnet, they, they were just looking for money. So they could do it in many ways. They were using bot. The bot itself, it was able to steal information, personal information. So the username, password, banking credentials, sell credit card, it was able to take that. How they were doing that? Well, the, the bot itself had different modules. One of the modules, for example, was able to take um, all the information you enter in Internet 6, 7, or 8. Uh, you enter that, and this module was designed just to steal all that information. Imagine that you were using Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, doesn't matter. They had another module for those three browsers, so it doesn't matter what you were using or if it was even a HTTPS connection, because they have another module to get all the encrypted information. So basically, that, that's what they were doing, stealing information. They were also renting the botnet. The botnet was really huge. So they were renting just a small portions of the botnet. We have seen some communications with some, some other criminals. Uh, one criminal, uh, for example, was asking for for small botnet. He needed for two weeks. And he wanted computers, uh, a few thousands of them, in US and Canada, just to send out the spam for a couple of weeks. And it was offering a lot of money. So they basically, that's that's how they were uh, earning money. And they, they, they were also launching some denial of service attacks and that. But mainly it was through installing toolbars, some showing some ads, and renting the botnets and stealing from it. Uh, once your computer is infected, you, your computer uh, belongs to the Mariposa botnet. So, but you as a final user, you, you are not going to realize that your computer is part of a bot. Because you can still work with your computer. What happens is that the bot herder can send any kind of comment to your computer, and your computer will do that. And of course, the bot will be still in all your information. But you won't realize anything. At the end, they don't want you to notice that, that, that your computer is part of a bot. Well, uh, it was created, the Mariposa Working Group. Uh, which was integrated by Defense Intelligence, uh, the Georgia Institute of Technology, and Panda Security, as well as it was created as a collaborative effort uh, with other international security experts and law enforcement agencies to eradicate uh, this Mariposa botnet and bring the perpetrator to, to the justice. The people behind uh, the Mariposa botnet was uh, a gang. They call themselves the DDP team. DDP comes from the Spanish Diaz de Pesadilla, or Nightmare Base in English, to be translated. And there are a number of guys that were behind that and managing all the botnet. And the investigations are still open, and well, uh, some, uh, we have some people, and the police and the law enforcement has taken some of them, but. Uh, we will see more arrest in, in the near future. Well, first of all, uh, we try to get access to the different control panels. We find out the different control panels the, the DDP team was using. There were around 10 control panels. Uh, most of them were in Spain, but not all of them. They were in some other countries also. So we, we took a look at what they were doing, how were they behaving with this botnet. And once we knew, or we were almost sure that we were aware of all the command and control centers, uh, what we did is, uh, in a worldwide coordination effort, on the 23rd of December 2009, we took down the, all those control, command and control panels. So in that way, they lose the control. They completely lost the control of the, of the bullet. Uh, what happened that day is that uh, Ned Cairo, which was the leader of the DDP team, uh, Ned Cairo is an alias he was using, one of the many alias he had. Uh, Ned Cairo tried to again gain control of the of the botnet again, and he was trying to connect to each and any and every of the CMC panels. He couldn't, and he tried, and he was getting nervous and because when he usually when he was connecting to these servers to, to control the botnet. He was using some anonymous VPN services. So in that way, if you were controlling the connections to that server, you couldn't figure out who was the real IP address or the real computer that was accessing to that control panel. But what happened is that uh, he was really nervous trying to gain access. And, and one of the times, he, uh, he connected with his 
all IP address at home. So he, in that time, he forgot to, to connect to VPN. That is what uh, let us in the future figure out who, who was that guy and the law enforcement could do it. Okay. Uh, after a couple of days, he was able to to take the to take the control back again of one of these CNC panels, and then uh, immediately he launched a, a, a huge uh, denial of service attack against Defense Intelligence, one of the members of the Mariposa Working Group. Uh, after two days, we call uh, we could take back the control of the uh, of the CNC, and uh, the attack stopped. Uh, one month later, in the, it was the 3rd of February, the local law enforcement took this guy, Cairo. it was a 31-year-old guy from Spain, and he was the leader of the DDP team. They took all their computers and all the stuff. And in fact, when the police got into his house, they, they, he was trying to delete all the stuff they had, he had in, in the computer. He couldn't manage to do it in time. So the police took the, all the computers and started the forensic investigations. Those investigations lead to more, uh, to, to some more people inside the DDP team. And in fact, uh, the, the 24th of, of February, um, 2010, they, uh, two more people from Spain also were arrested. Right now, the investigations are still opening, uh, the forensic analysis are not finished, and in the next four or five weeks, we expect more people to be arrested in different countries. Well, when, one of the first things we, we did is took all the samples we find out about uh, Mariposa, all the bots they, they have been using to infect the users. Uh, we took them, all those samples, and sent them to all the antivirus companies. So all, everyone has already added detection for those bots. And if you have any doubt or you think that your computer could have been infected with this, you just have to run a scan with, the, with your antivirus. It has to be updated, that's the only thing. You scan it and if it finds something, it will tell you and it will delete the bot. That's it.